patiently waiting for me to open that I'm gonna open here with y'all today. Let me get back here. All right, hopefully y'all can hear me okay. And this should work out all right. Got my cup of joe and a water, bunch of packages, pocket knife. It's election day and uh, all I'm gonna say about this is um, no matter who I vote for, no matter who you vote for, we are all America. We should be looking out for one another. Even if we have different ideas of what that policy may be, we should be treating each other with respect because regardless of our idea of what is right, the idea is still that you're trying to take care of your country. So if someone disagrees with you, why would you not take care of them? Right? I mean, if your goal is to take care of the country, no matter what anybody believes, don't let it divide us. Don't let it uh, break us apart, disenfranchise us, because we are uh, stronger together. We are the American people. And together we've done amazing things. We've overcome all kinds of struggles in the past. And no matter what happens tonight in this election, uh, tomorrow I will continue to do my best to be the best American that I could possibly be. So... That's my, that's, my, that's my take on this election. I hope you all have fun tonight with it, regardless of the outcome. Okay, so we're going to open up some stuff that's been waiting for me here. I'm going to start with the biggest package, because this one, I've been, I've been seeing it and waiting to be able to do this on film. I don't know what's in it, but we're going to find out right now. Here, let me move these. And I may not get to all these today, but um, nonetheless, I want to share some with you, right? So this one, look at the size of this guy. I don't know what that is, but it's a big, big box from Home Depot. I might be able to open it up backwards. Let me, let me move my coffee. So this is what the footage looks like on the edited mail times. Anytime you've seen one of my mail time, this is what I record and then we go back and we edit it all down. It's a lot less eventful. <laughs> After a few hours of editing, it makes it look a lot more uh, smooth instead of fumbling around with boxes and everything else. If y'all are just tuning in and you wanted my opinion on the election, I gave it at the beginning of this video. You can go back and watch that and uh, you can see what I have to say about that. The rest of this time we're talking about uh, mail time here. If I can get this box open, I'm just going to rip it open. I'm about this bad at Christmas time too, I think. Everything's always backwards for me. Alright, alright. to letters here's a letter when it comes to letters I'm not gonna read the whole things to y'all because sometimes there's personal stuff in there so I may just glance at it tell you who it's from and then I'll go back and read it uh, in my personal time um, just because sometimes people share some really personal stuff with me on these mail times and I and I cherish it and I want to respect that so I'll tell you who it's from but chances are I will not be sharing the personal messages I guess is my point not on a live. On a regular film video, I can do that because I go back and edit it out if it's too personal. But on a live, there's no way to do that. What happens here, what happens here. This thing is packed very well. It is big. All right. There's definitely a signature down here from a note, but I had a hard time reading the signature. Let me show you what they sent. It's very well packed. As I think it probably should be, because it's looking pretty special. Oh, 
wow. Oh, wow, wait till y'all see this. Man, this has just been waiting on me for a long time. This is cool. The finish on it's so, uh, so, oh, wow. I mean, people, you guys sometimes are just outrageous, man. Y'all do some of the coolest things. I mean, I'm talking super, super cool things. Look at that. That is cool. 1976, all machined, drilled out. All these shell casings. Man, and the gloss finish on that is unbelievable. That is cool. This I will cherish. Already ready for hanging on the back. Dude, thank you so much. That, I wish there was a way to put it up for this rest of this video. That is what's up. Now I got, see there's a, there's a note in here. I'm gonna set this aside and take care of that later but that's a cool gift y'all <laughs> this is what mail time looks like in real uh real time fashion all right here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go we're gonna go here from leaf from leaf reeland in hickory hill road jacksonville new jersey do not cut it says let's not cut it do not cut well hell I'll rip. Hopefully that doesn't constitute cutting. Oh, wow. All right, man, this is cool. This is cool. So there's a note here. I already told you who it's from. So I'm not going to read the whole note to y'all. But I will read his intentions for this gift. And I will follow his intentions to the T. But look at, look at all these patches. A whole mess of patches. And, and let me show you what they say. No. That's cool. Thank you very much. I'll read your intentions, and uh, we will follow them to the letter of the T. Okay. Very, very cool. We're going to set that right there. And that's the truth, too. That's absolutely the truth. I did, I did not serve, so I support those who did. That's badass, man. All right, we got another another package here. This one I had already cut open slightly, but we did not open it and go through it yet. So I've got a, uh, this is another note that I'm not gonna read because it could be personal to, you, to these people, but I will read it later off camera. Goose Bay, Canada. Scott Mercier. Scott Mercier made a bunch look at these they're keychains he made chucky <laughs> adam too cool cody the leaders Matt made a bunch of keychains for all my friends. Very, very cool of him. I appreciate it. I will read your letter and follow, uh, you know, your instructions as well. Moving along. It is a... Uh, oh... This 
this is from Godfrey the Magician. He has been in a couple of my videos. He made a, uh, a trip out here for the Stubborn American event we had at the campground in October. And uh, you can catch him in some of my videos. But he sent me something here. Let's see what he sent. Comedy magic show. <laughs> I'm a magic hero and so are you. Adam, have a magical life. So it is a, a magician's handbook. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The plan. Oh, he said he enjoyed reading my book, Inside My Helmet, and uh, he wanted to give me the two books that he's made to read back. So that was very cool. Thank you so much, uh, Godfrey. That is... That is awesome, man. All right. We got a package here. If you all uh, are just tuning in and you want to know about the election and what's going on and my stance on it, I did address it at the beginning of the video. Y'all are welcome to go back and hit play. It's the first thing I address before we start opening up uh, mail time. So this is all mail that people have sent me um, and for to open up on mail time or to share with you all or or sometimes just to send to me and I, I do it anyhow myself on, online but if you write mail time on a package you send me you send it to the campground I will get it sometimes it takes a little while I will get it and I will uh, hopefully open it on camera and I certainly um, will send you a thank you card if I don't all right let's see what this says here This is from, oh, here we go. This is what's up. Look at this. Combat vet veteran U.S. Marine Corps. Wow, these are nice stickers, too. That's quality. United States Marine Corps. It's like a puffy. You probably can't see it on there but it's like a, a puffy sticker. I don't know if you can tell. All right. Um, so this is something he's got for our campground. This comes from Taylor. It's a flag honoring our veterans. And again, uh, no matter who anybody's voting for, hopefully our veterans and our citizens are on the front of their mind, and that's more important. None of us have the, uh, the whole answer, do we? Maybe nice if we did, but all we can do is what we think is best, but hopefully it's to support our veterans and our country, and that's why we're following our beliefs. Oh, man. So I got a Marine Corps flag, and he... Uh, asked me if I could fly that for our Marine veterans. So that was a very, very nice gift. We will definitely find a spot to hang it here, somewhere here at the campground. And, and uh, that, that's a perfect example of what really matters in America. That's its people, its military, its first responders, the people who put their life on the line every day so that we can... Uh, I'm not good at folding flags, I'm sorry guys. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong, but know that it's with the best intent. Um, I will fix that off camera. I won't make you all go through the miserable <laughs> experience of watching me try to do that correctly. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I went with in the beginning. Uh, you know, I talked more about it, but at the end of the day, you know, as long as your heart's for the people, we can disagree on the right path to get there, as long as we both agree on the end game. And the end game should be taking care of our people, taking care of our military. So no matter who wins the election, um, I'm just going to keep pushing forward with what I think is important in life. I'm not going to uh, throw any fits. I'm not going to go burn nothing down. I won't be no part of it. I won't be putting uh, anti-political posts, you know. Um, I'm just going to uh, do my best to live my life in the direction that I think best helps my fellow uh, brothers and sisters. 
think that's the right thing to do. All right, let's open one more today. We'll make it this bottom one here. And this one I'm opening kind of on purpose. I, I kind of cheated on this one. I, I looked in it already, so I already know what's in it, so I just want to share it with y'all. Um, I did go through it, I just peeked in it and then remembered a message that was sent to me. So, this, of course there's a nice letter, and we will go over that, but this is from Shane Jenkins, and there's a story that goes behind all this, um, but these are all books, look at this, I'm going to come closer, look at Gettysburg, I mean this is a nice quality book. The American Experience, Vietnam. And it's a whole box of books. D-Day, my grandfather was there. Battlefield Presidents. I mean, just, just um, a lot. Lone Survivor. A whole box of books. And the, and the importance of these books are for our veterans. So these are going to uh, grace a bookshelf inside my disabled veterans cabin. So uh, they will have reading and literature and um, um, I think it's gonna be awesome. It'll be some uh, really good reading, a whole box of books. Vietnam War, um, all, just a whole box of books that will grace my uh, veterans cabin if y'all don't know. We are building an almost complete, I'll give you guys an update this week, um, with our uh, veterans, disabled veterans cabinet set up to be 100% handicap accessible for veterans seven days a week, uh, 365 days a year. It will be free to veterans. Um, and it's going to have push button open doors and holders already in there, roll in showers, uh, specially designed windows so that they can see out better. Um, it's a cabin uh, to honor our, our brave men and women. A lot of people have helped me in this from everything from uh, money to uh, to labor, to supplies. Uh, it's just been an amazing project and we've decided to go ahead and do it right. And uh, it's it's showing and I'm excited about it. So, all right, y'all, this is where I am going to cut this live stream off and say, you know what? Um, I just thought maybe a little positivity, a little good energy might be a good thing for today because I know tensions are high among a lot of people for good reasons. Uh, we all have a path that we wanna see uh, to the best America that we can be forever, right? Um, we are a, we are a country that is proud, and uh, I'm proud of of my country no matter what. And I stand with my people, and that at the end of the day is the American people. Um, whatever's best for them, I I'll go along with and, and try to try to push. So that's about it. That's my completely not uh, political political sta <laughs> statement. It's just uh, love your country. Want, to, want it to be the best, and no matter which side uh, is right in the end or which side wins in the end, you'll know that um, it doesn't pay to try to hurt America to try to advance America. Just don't make sense to me. Talk to y'all later. I love you very much. God bless y'all. Bye. I think bye. How do I shut this thing? <laughs>